What is up, everybody? I hope everybody's had a fantastic week. But it is finally Friday, and it is the last Friday of the month. So we will be giving an update of the server that I play on, my friend's server, Mr. Pixie, and we'll be showing you how the island has grown. Now, right before we jump into it, I would like for everybody to take this opportunity to show that love and hit that like button and that subscribe button, as well as turn on the notification bell. That way you can be notified every time we drop a new video over on the channel. And if you haven't been to the channel, seriously, go check out the channel. There's all types of stuff over there. I'm working on even new stuff that may be coming at the beginning of the year. But anyway, guys, let's kick off this weekend with a review of the island. All right, guys, so I built this turtle farm. Uh, it's not quite working to what I need it to, um, but I'm hopefully going to figure it out. But I have been working around the island, building a kind of like a dock. Uh, I'm going to make some openings eventually, but as of right now, I'm working on getting the dock around as well as getting the logs under the water. But so far, I've got it from one set of stairs to another set of stairs. So I've got two stairs done and now we're coming to the back side. I got to take it all the way around. I want to put at least one more set of stairs, if not another set of stairs, but we've got the pyramid done. I finally built the pyramid. Something I've been working on. Also got a river, got a bridge. So, you know, still doing some changes, but the island has had a major, major improvement. Uh, I love the pyramid design. I'm not going to lie. I googled quite a bit till I found a design that I liked with the glass every two layers. Really like that. It's it, To me, it's I wouldn't really go as far as say it's elegant as much or classy, but it's not your standard pyramid where it's just stairs wrapping around. I also like the way that I broke it up with the wood and was able to do the floors. I really like the logs in contrast with the uh, polished. I went polished for this versus brick. A lot of other stuff is brick, but I went polished stairs here. Really like it. Love the lanterns that I got spaced out. Really lights it up. Got it mossed up too. So it, I'm happy with it overall. But either way, we're going to go over this way. The reason I have a map in my hand is we're going to go check out the Guardian Farm. This is one of the farms that I haven't had a chance to really show off yet. Uh, on the server because it's a major work in process. Um, I'm not sure exactly what a guardian farm is used for. Mr. Pixie is still walking me through it. It's not something I've ever really built. I really don't know what you get from the farm. I don't know if it's fish or I think it's sea prism maybe. So we can make lanterns, I think. I'm not really sure, honestly. But it's not far from my base. I'm just, I get lost every time I try to come over here. He went ahead and blocked it off and got this done. I think we need gravel. A lot of gravel or a lot of sand. I'm not gravel is what we need. Yeah, gravel. Uh, luckily, we have made a duplicator. Uh, I won't get a chance to show that off this video, but hopefully next video. He is, we don't actually have it built yet. This is gravel that I've got from a gravel mountain, but he is working on a duplicator at another end portal. So hopefully that will work out in the end and I'll be able to show you show that off. But it's going to take, I'm going to have to have, to have someone on the server from what I understand. Because apparently you're going to have someone standing AFK in the end room and then someone standing AFK where you spawn uh, in the end. With that being said, once we get it figured out, I'd be more than glad to show it off. I'll just have to get Mr. Pixie or someone on to help showcase it. It's a really nice system. The idea of it. I've seen the rough. He's just working out the kinks with the slime. So, either way, it's a pretty cool design. I can't wait till it to be done because it will make everything so much easier. All right. So next, we're gonna head back, and I'm gonna f we're gonna go to the Neither. We have a farm in the Neither. We f he finally built a blaze rod. And it's, it is really cool. I can't wait to showcase that either. He has been working on a ton of farms. Farms that I had never considered doing. And they're so simple. And just super easy. 
Oh, wait, you know what? Before we go to the neither, I want to show this off. So, he is working on using candles in his base. And so, we needed a lot more than what we were getting. So, he moved some bees over here. And just It's just basically maximizing it. It's not pretty. He says he's going to build a bee around it at some point. Uh, who knows? Uh, Mr. Pixie's a very busy man. But super creative and super efficient. He's really good with the redstone. I have to admit, I have to give a shout out to that. Really knows what he's doing. I could definitely learn a couple things from him. But moving on, I digress. Let's go ahead and pass the abandoned house. They have not been back. And let's move forward. Heading to the neither. Oh, went a little too fast. Let's swim through our little man-made coral reef. What's up, guys? I'm just going to jump over you. And down we go. I'm going to go ahead and sleep before we go into. That way I don't have to worry about coming back at nighttime. I don't plan to spend super long in here. I got a lot to show off today. A lot. Yep, get situated clock. There we go. All right. So let's head to the neither. Let's put that away. Matter of fact, we're just going to go ahead and... I don't want to lose that. Oh, hold on. Put my elytra up. Do not want to lose the elytra. And put the map down. Let's go. Should be pretty safe. All right, we're on the top. And I officially asked and found out, I don't know if I said it in the last video, but I wasn't sure uh, I mentioned this in one of the videos. If you haven't checked out the series, I highly recommend it. Watch how the island has grown since the beginning and the server as we get new people. It's it's really nice to be able to come and do stuff like this. But at the same time, it's fun to watch it change over time. But we sh it should be fairly safe. Made quite a bit of uh, some improvement. It's not completely safe. Still a lot of work to be done. This leads to another guy's house. I, I know I don't have any gold on. Ow. 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 There's my sword. Shell's a problem. What do to you guys? But this leads to uh, the guy that's over there by the... Or the person that's over there by the... Pillager farm? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So still working on getting this done. Uh, trying to get enough of the neither brick there. And that's how we're going to do it all the way down. But you'll be able to AFK here. You have to be careful, though. You get too close, and sometimes they can hit you. But it produces a pretty good rate. Don't really know why you... I guess unless you want to do potions. A lot of potions. Because uh, I guess you can't really buy potions for villagers like you can enchanted books. Uh, I'm trying to wait for someone to spawn down. It generally doesn't take this long. I may have to go to the surface. Which is fine. I'll take you up to the surface. That way you can see them. Oh, it's not like one spawned in. But we're going to go ahead and go up to the surface. I want to show that off as well. The, the structure. It's super simple. But I don't know. There's something about it that I like. I really do like it. It's a really nice design in my opinion. I, um, I just gonna be honest that's my preference you may not think it's much of nothing but you know it just to me it's really nice I know some people would be like oh, it's just a glass box yeah but it's with lava and we're in the neither it's just it is I don't know super simple but I like it it's to me got a little bit of uh I mean yeah it can be a little bit more decorative there could be a little bit more breakup of the glass sure but overall, it's just very pleasing to look at, especially on the end of a neither fortress. Really nice, in my opinion. But hey, what can I say? I'm a simple guy. So, that's the only farm we've really got set up. There's a path over here that I showed you already. There's a path to the end portal, if that's what you want to take. But the end portal is actually really close to spawn. It's just much easier to fly there. But I was going to wait and show that off once I showed off the sand. Or not sand, I guess. You can technically duplicate anything that's affected by gravity. So sand, 
gravel, and concrete powder. Yeah, absolutely. Which is really nice because I like building with concrete. So that's really nice. And uh, I can't wait for it to be finished. There's no door to the second level. I guess it's been closed in by glass for now. Apparently, the gas won't shoot you through the glass. That's a, that's a lot to say right there, right? <laughs> but either way, I mentioned this, like I was saying, coming down, and I got lost in thought. Breaking through bedrock. So apparently, I asked, was it done in creative? Because everything on the server is supposed to be survival only, uh, give or take. But apparently that was done. apparently that's a glitch that was done. It was done in survival, from my understanding. Now, give or take, everything in there is survival except the one or two exceptions of command blocks that he's put in to turn the modes from normal to hard to be able to turn the zombies, turn the villagers into villager zombies so you can get the prices down in a more efficient way he used a command block there as far as i know that's the only one but for the most part everything else we have built is in survival apparently that was like i said a glitch that was done but it was done in survival something with a piston or whatever i don't know i don't i wasn't here for it i don't really understand it nor have i asked any more questions because it's super cool to spawn in on the roof Apparently there will be a um, hopefully we'll be able to maximize that since we're up there in survival Maybe build some farms. I don't know exactly any other forms besides a gold farm that can be built apparently there is Frog lights because we've updated the server to to the most recent and apparently if you can feed frogs the small magma cubes they'll give you frog lights and there's three type of frogs so you get three types of lights different colors which is really cool so maybe we'll be able to build one of those on the roof as well the uh this has been updated to be an automatic sorter as well as I was rambling on, but I was showing the slime. I have to dig up there. That's why I was pulling up the cords. I have to dig up 40 blocks. That was my bad. I was rambling, but I digress. So moving on, there's a couple more things I want to show you before we end the video today. I want to show off this base. He's put a lot of work into this, a lot of detail, and it's a very impressive base. I like to show off his um, just as much as I like to show off mine. But this is really, I mean, this is nice. This is just one of my favorites so far. It's just small details. I love the different mushrooms. Really nice. And then you got the hidden button. Boom. Get the fall down through the snow. And voila, we are here. So still working on the floor, but if you look, if you notice uh, there's candles everywhere. That's why we had to upgrade the bee farm. Also looking on getting some more sea lanterns. There's his little slimes. He's got his automated system. These must be junk chest that he's working on. We've even talked about doing a shelter box farm, but apparently they're, they're complicating. And for him to say it's complicating, it must be complicating. I don't honestly know. So, but he's just kind of working everywhere on everything. I like how he's got different colors on the floor. Really nice. Love the candles. I love the way that sounds too. This is the automatic sorter. You put it in a chest or throw it on the floor and it will automatically go through the sort. I'm going to throw some of my deep slate. You just throw it down, disappears, boom. And there it goes, the bar is working. It's like a loading bar, it's really nice. Really nice, I have to admit, it's really cool. It takes it a minute, there it goes. It's just, I don't know, it's really cool. And then over here where he has bulk storage, I think each one of those lights represent a double chest, so it's really nice. And, they, and when you take out the chest, the light goes down when you take out enough. 
This is the diamond room that he's working on. I think he's working on a gold ceiling with ender rod lights. I think is what he's going to go here. I'm not 100% sure. But I love the way this sounds. Hey, Mr. Shulkerbox. And up we go to the top. Oh wow, he's dug a pond up here. I wonder what he was gonna do with this. This is nice, real nice. Oh, what's this down here? We wait, wait, huh? How did that work? I'm thoroughly confused. He's still got a... I guess he's going to do that gold design. Yeah, how did I fall? And end up in the same place. That is thoroughly confusing. Not unless where we go into the cave and we hit that button, it pops open and we jump from the halfway point. I mean, that does technically make sense, right? Yeah, that has to be it. I mean, that could be the only thing. Right, got to be. Uh, I think that's his. Oh, he's got a. I don't know what those are called, but he has a farm of those built into the cave. That's how he's got so much purple. We've just not been going around destroying geodes, okay? Oh, there we go. Ooh. Wonder what he's gonna do with that. Wonder if he's gonna do anything with that. That's the ceiling where it's growing. And then, then there's the pawn. Wonder what he's got in store for that. I don't know. Really nice though. I can't jump up there. Uh, nope, not gonna make it. Gonna have to go on down. Whee! All right, let's let's head back to the I want to show this all from a flying point of view. I just want you to look at the eye as it comes into render. Look at that. Look at the moss. Look at the path I got done. I still got to work on some of the rest of the island. We're growing trees. And someone may have talked me into attempting to do an automatic sorter. I don't want to talk about it. I just don't. Because uh, it's a really big project. And uh, I just don't know if that's what I want to do. I mean, I kind of do now. Like, I've been talked into it a little bit. And I'm like... But I'm not, I'm not savvy like that. So I'm definitely going to have some help. But I'm hoping I'll have something if I decide to take the route. I hope I have that to show off next time. I've been putting in a lot of effort on the server. So is Mr. Pixie. And so is other people. And it's, it's really nice just to be able to come and play with people who enjoy the same game. And watch people's build techniques, their ideas evolve. You know, learning different stuff from different people because everybody plays the game different. Everybody has different build styles. Everybody has different playing styles. And it's really cool to play with people and learn new techniques that I would have never thought about. Or especially like the small detail designs. Uh, I do my best and I get inspiration from a lot of different things. But watching other people and checking out other people's bases is just really cool. It just blows my mind. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it. There won't be a server. I won't be showing you a server update for October. I have things special for October. But in November, guys, check back.